Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is about the atelectasis. Atelectasis is a condition where the lung tissue collapses. It may be the part of lung which collapse or the whole lung may collapse. And uh, in the collapsed part, there is no replacement of air with breathing because of the obstruction which prevents the passage of air inside the atelectatic part. The types of atelectasis and their respective causes. The first type is the resorption atelectasis and in resorption atelectasis there is complete obstruction of the airways. Remember there should be a complete obstruction of airway in order to produce atelectasis and uh, the partial obstruction cannot produce atelectasis because during inhalation when a uh, lung is expanding the partially obstructed airway opens more widely allowing the passage of air uh, but during exhalation when the lung is getting smaller the partially obstructed airway closes suddenly or becomes very narrow and the air is trapped inside the airways and uh, it does not produce uh, any atelect atelectasis. Whenever there is complete obstruction of airway, the air distal to that obstruction is absorbed into the bloodstream and uh, the air spaces become deflated and produce atelectasis. The causes include the mucus plug or the mucopurulent plug which may uh, block the airways and this may be caused by the inflammatory conditions like asthma, chronic bronchitis or bronchiectasis or the post-operative situations like irritation of airways, airways by the anesthetics, suppression of cuff reflex or inefficient breathing. All these factors lead to the accumulation of excess of mucus which blocks the airways and can produce atelectasis. This can also be caused by a foreign body or a tumor fragment. The next is the compression atelectasis. Remember the lungs have tendency to recoil because these are elastic organs and the chest wall has tendency to go out but this doesn't happen the lungs don't collapse and the uh, chest wall doesn't get out because of the pleural mechanism which uh, maintains a negative pressure in the uh, pleural cavity. But if this negative pressure is lost or this negative pressure is reduced, the lungs can collapse. And the causes for this uh, uh, include the pleural effusion, which is the accumulation of uh, fluid in the pleural space, pneumothorax, which is the accumulation of air in the pleural space, or poor diaphragmatic uh, moment, uh, like in bedridden patients or post-operative patients, or uh, due to the abdominal distension, ascites, all these conditions lead to the loss of negative pressure in the pleural space due to which lungs can collapse and produce atelectasis. The next is the contraction atelectasis, but uh, this is not so common and it is a very rare condition. The causes for this include localized or generalized fibrosis of lung tissue, which prevents the lung from expanding, or it may be caused by the localized or generalized fibrosis of pleura. I remember that fibrosis prevents expansion of lung tissue and increases the lung recoil which may produce atelectasis. The resorption and compression atelectasis are reversible conditions. These can be reversed by removing the cause of atelectasis and the contraction atelectasis is irreversible because fibrosis cannot be reversed. Pathophysiology. The pathophysiology of uh, atelectasis is very simple. First, there is obstruction of airway either by mucus plug or by a foreign body or by a tumor and uh, this doesn't allow uh, air to fill the alveoli and uh, ultimately the alveoli deflate and uh, produce the collapse of the alveoli or the of, uh, collapse of the lung segment called the atelectasis. Now the clinical manifestations. There may be coughing due to the irritation of airways, due to the excess mucus production or due to the inflammation of airways. The patient can have dyspnea. Whenever there is atelectasis, there is no exchange of air taking place in the affected part and uh, there is no air oxygen getting into the blood and uh, no carbon dioxide leaving the blood. Due to this, the level of oxygen in the blood decreases and uh, this results in dyspnea. There may be central cyanosis due to uh, decreasing levels of oxygen in blood. There may be wheezing which may be produced by the excess mucus production or the inflammation of airways. And there is rapid and shallow breathing. 
Now, how can we diagnose the atelectasis? We can use a chest X-ray where the atelectatic or the collapsed lung parts are visible on a chest X-ray and uh, we can use chest auscultation and uh, there are diminished sounds on chest auscultation in the affected parts of the lungs because there are no air movements in and out of these parts. We can use pulse oximetry to measure the level of oxygen in the blood or we can use bronchoscopy to look into the airways of the patient by a bronchoscope and to find out if there are any uh, blockade or uh, any obstructions. We can use sputum culture to find out if there is any bacterial infection uh, due to which these signs and symptoms are caused. Atelectasis is a preventable condition and this can be prevented by deep breathing and effective coughing because due to this the uh, secretions and other fluids present inside the airways are dislodged and are easily removed. Tracheal suctioning, postural drainage and chest physiotherapy also help to dislodge and remove the secretions from the uh, patient's airways. It can also be prevented by early ambulation of the post-operative patients. Now the medical management of uh, atelectasis. The goal of medical management in atelectasis is to re-expand the collapsed lung tissue. A style cysteine is given to the patient to thin up the mucus inside the airways and uh, it is then easily uh, removed. Bronchodilators are used to ease the breathing by dilating those inflamed airways and antibiotics are given if uh, infection is present or if the inflammation of uh, airways is due to the bacterial infection. Chest physiotherapy is uh, employed to loosen the secretions and the loosened secretions can then be easily cuffed up. Supplemental oxygen is given, uh, given when there is sufficient decrease in the level of uh, oxygen in the blood. But if the medical management fails, the surgical management can be employed in which the mucus is uh, sucked up uh, if uh, the mucus is the cause of obstruction or a bronchoscopy can be used to remove the uh, foreign body or uh, any other thing that is causing the obstruction of airways. Now the nursing management. As a nurse, you have to encourage the patient for deep breathing exercise because deep breathing can dislodge or mobilize the secretions and remove them. Chest physiotherapy also has the same effect. Spirometry can also be used because spirometry helps us to properly inflate the lungs and preserve the lung function. Changing the position of patient frequently so that the uh, secretions don't get accumulated and cause obstruction of airways. Because the patient is having dyspnea, provide the patient uh, a comfortable position so that the uh, breathing becomes easy for him. Thank you. That was all about the atelectasis. Don't forget to take the free quiz by clicking on the link in the description.